It was really challenging. You're picking the most poignant time in their lives. And you're not only picking and cherry picking all the good things that happened during that time period, but you're picking some of the challenges too. And before we get into the restaurant itself, let's stick it about the book. What was it actually like creating it? Sure. So um, I can speak to the family history and, you know, just the overall process of it. It was really challenging um, because whenever you're writing a memoir or a biography, you're not writing a Wikipedia page. So it's not from the time somebody is born until, you know, the time that they pass away. You're you're picking the most poignant time in their lives. And you're not only picking and cherry picking all the good things that happened during that time period, but you're picking some of the challenges too, because that's what makes a good story. So um, it was challenging to kind of figure out what the storyline was going to be. And and sometimes to tell those hard parts of the story, what was equally, if not more challenging, was just the nebulous nature of the publishing industry. Um, nobody really, truly knows. I, you know, until I got into this book project, I just thought you wrote a book, it's on Amazon, and then people buy it. And that could not be further from the truth. Just the process and the etiquette and, you know, what you have to have in order to essentially go out to agents and then what you need to provide for agents. And then once, you know, if somebody decides to pick you up, then what that looks like as far as the submission process. And I think the thing that struck me and was the hardest, and I'll let Ruthie weigh in afterwards, was just the amount of ghosting we would send out um, with agents and, you know, publishing houses, they're expecting a large amount of material for you. So we would send out query letters. That's a polished one page, four paragraph letter about you and the book and why you think it has a hook and a market. Uh, The entire manuscript, our manuscript was, I think at the time we were going out about 90,000 words. It's now cut back to more the 80, 85 ish thousand words and a whole book proposal, because since we're in the narrative nonfiction category, the book has to have all of the elements of a nonfiction story. So we have to have that entire business plan of why we're writing the book and why it's going to sell and who the market is. We also have to have the finished manuscript and our book proposal was about 60 pages. So requiring that much to only not even get a thanks, but no thanks, but just no response whatsoever. I I feel like in my opinion, that was the hardest part of the process, but I'll let Ruthie weigh in too (laughs) to see what she has to say. I totally agree. If uh, the the writing was not arduous because Maria and I get along so well. So at no moment was there an oh, you know, it was like, okay, here you are. We're real partners. But this publishing thing, oh my gosh. Um, I did not know. I didn't know four months ago what Maria just said. I didn't know where the proofreaders for the printers. I didn't know where the salespeople. I thought you write the book and they take care of it. Four months ago, we didn't really, or in the beginning of May, we really didn't understand the process. So it is difficult. And especially in this genre, the celebrities and athletes and uh, reality stars wrote their memoirs. So if a publishing house says we have 14 memoirs budgeted this year, Joe's name was not a nationally recognized name. They want a name on the shelf that someone will pick up in a bookstore. And I think otherwise we had lots of compliments on the rejections that did say why they were rejected, but it was, uh, you know, not a big enough social platform. They're looking for people with millions of followers. And I think that's what took so long. 
as we wrap up, tell us where we can find the book. Tell us where we can go next. Tell us how we can follow you, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Tell us all the ways we can keep in touch with this story. Absolutely. So the book is really wherever books are sold. So we're on Amazon, barnesandnoble.com, Walmart, Target. Uh, we're also at most bookstores. So, but if we're not, uh, most bookstores can order us. We are through Ingram and Idlewees and all of the other major catalogs. Uh, as far as keeping in touch, um, all of the social media for Facebook and Instagram uh, for me is the handle at Joe Costanzo. That's J O E. C-O-S-T-A-N-Z-O, Prima Donna, P-R-I-M-A-D-O-N-N-A. And I'm also on LinkedIn and um, Twitter. I think I'm Maria C. Palmer. But uh, if you just go on to mariacpalmer.com, that's all of my information. I I wanted to mention the Heinz History Center has been such a great partner with us. And they have signed copies. We've all signed copies. So if you order from there, you get the signed copies. 